So welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a hair review today. My name is Kimmy K, but you can call me Key. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can leave those down below. So let's get into this video. So I'm going to be doing a hair review and it's going to be from Sensational. Um, it is from their textured lace wig. Um, this is the style Alpha Woman and it is the Flamboyage Chocolate. Um, it's from their Curls Kinks in Co line. So this is going to be the stock card up close and then this is going to be the inside. So this um, wig is going to have a metal part. And then this is the back that shows. So starting out, this is what the wig is going to look like. So that is the color. Um, I was expecting it to like be chocolate, like a dark brown, but it looks like auburn, like. It looks like auburn and then it has the blonde highlights over here on the front. So the lace is going to be a medium brown lace and then you also do get baby hairs already. So on the inside of the cap, you are going to get two combs on top. You do have the part in space and then you do have the comb in the back with the adjustable straps. So this is going to be the wig on. I don't know, it looks, it looks like chocolate on like, I don't know, I don't know, it looks chocolate on, but then it looks like Reese's Buttercup. I don't know why, but I don't know, maybe, I don't know, because it looks brown like on, but. I guess up close it has like the browns and the reds and then it has this honey blonde like it has a lot of colors mixed in so you're not getting just one set color so looking in the monitor it does look like it's a chocolate brown and then it has this hazel honey brown looking color it looks like a Reese's buttercup to me like that's the color. that's what I'm getting when I look at this like Reese's buttercup but you do get your baby hairs along the perimeter of the hairline. So when you pull it back, the hairline, it does look already plucked for you. So it does look good. And then this is the sides. And then the parting space is very deep. So it goes right here. It looks like it's about five or six inches. It's ahead and cut off the lace and go ahead and style this unit and I will be back.
let's go ahead and talk about this wig so the lace is going to be a medium brown lace like it fits my skin tone to the t so if if you are my skin tone it's going to be like a1 it's going to fit you to the t um it's medium brown so lighter skin tone you might get away with you might have to add a little bit of powder but i do like the lace color um the hairline it is kind of plugged for you so you do not have to pluck the hairline the baby hairs they are also plugged so all i did was just trim those down just a little bit and they're not even too long either if you like your baby hairs to be long so i like the baby hairs on this so you are going to get six inches worth of parting space so you do get a lot of parting space to work with which makes the wig kind of look natural um the only thing is getting the wig to flatten down right here it is kind of bulky of course the hair is going to be bulky but I wanted the like top right here to be a little bit flat and then I do like the thickness on the bottom so it kind of looks like a little bit of humpty dumpty on top but it could be that I need to have flatter braids so that could be a possibility on why I can't get it as flat as I wanted to um, other than that I would like the top of it but it just kind of looks like it doesn't go like flat but like once again it could be that I need to have smaller braids um I actually like the hair color like now that I've done it I think the hair color is very very pretty it looks like it looks like cinnamon spice to me it doesn't look like chocolate brown but it's very pretty I do like it um now that I've brushed it and straightened it you really don't see this color like it kind of just goes in in between you can kind of see it like every now and then but it's not like when I first open it out the package so I do like the hair color I think it is very pretty the um, cap construction like on the wig if it's my head to the T it goes from ear to ear um, the combs are going to be right here so they're not on the sides but you can feel like the cap like it is gripping the hair on the side so that you do not have to use the combs and I do like that um, it is big head friendly so you do have a lot of room in the back the hair um, when I was going ahead and straighten it it was kind of falling out I don't know if because my straightener is too high I do have it on 10 so I'm not sure if that is the case when I was combing through it it wasn't too much shedding but when I was using my hot comb so be careful on that because I didn't see on the box if you could use heat on it it does say that you can go ahead and hot water set this but it doesn't say the tips on how much you can so I'm just thinking the standard 400 degrees so be careful with the heat But other than that, I really do um, like this wig. I think for the price point, it is like a nice wig that you can put on and go because like it's very pretty. It does mimic a natural blowout like it says it does. And I think it is a very pretty unit. I'm actually happy that I did get this unit in this color because I really do like it. But I probably also like a natural 1B color also. You really do not get too much um, tangling with this unit, which I do like because it is a yakky, yakky texture. Like very pretty, very pretty. So um, I will leave the links down below on where you can purchase this unit at. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.